this is gonna sound crazy, maybe, I don't know, maybe it doesn't sound crazy, but there are two movies I watched in my life. I, like I said, I really love movies. And uh, there are two movies that I watched in my life that kind of changed my life forever. One of the movies is Groundhog's Day. Have you guys ever watched the movie Groundhog's Day? Groundhog's Day and then the movie um, Palm Springs. Palm Springs is an Amazon exclusive movie, but that movie like messed me up. <laughs> Those movies, so Groundhog's Day and Palm Spring, they're kind of similar. They are both movies about you repeating the same day every day, right? That movie kind of freaks me out a little bit because when I watched that movie, I realized that I, so before I moved to South Korea, I watched Groundhog's Day and I realized that I'm literally living the same day over and over and over and over again. And then it like freaked me out because I was like, I realized I was like, Groundhog's Day isn't actually about repeating the same day. Groundhog's Day is like kind of a message about how you are. You currently are repeating the same day every single day of your life. And it's up to you to like do something about it, you know? So like in the movie Groundhog's Day, he repeats the same day every single day. Every single day he, he wakes up on Groundhog's Day and then eventually he starts like, because it's, he's repeated this day so many times and he's like messed up getting the girl he loves and stuff like that. <clears throat> Instead of getting the girl he wants and he, eventually he starts working on himself. Eventually he starts learning the piano. He's like, oh, I'm repeating the same day every day. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like take some time and learn the piano a little every day. And then maybe years, I don't know how much time goes by in Groundhog's Day, but then he learns the piano, he learns the language, he like learns all this stuff, he focuses on himself, and then he like kind of like at the end of the movie, he kind of accomplished everything he wanted to do in life and all of his dreams. And then I realized after watching Groundhog's Day, I was like really blown away by it because I was like, because my life at that point is I worked at GameStop, I would work, I would wake up at GameStop. I would go home, I would sleep for 18 hours, I would wake up, I'd go back to work at GameStop, I'd go home, I'd sleep, repeat, repeat. It was like that every day. My life was literally like Groundhog's Day. I was, I was literally repeating the same day every day of my life. And so then I was like, okay, I need to do something. Like even if it's like five minutes a day learning the piano like they did in Groundhog's Day or if it's like anything. I was like, I just need to do anything. That movie really freaked me out. <laughs> but that's why I love movies. You can watch a movie and like, they have such good messages. How long was it like that for me? So I worked at GameStop for five years and it was probably four years my life was like that. My life like was exactly the same for four years, four whole years. Literally, I would, I'd wake up, I'd go to work, I would work all day, I'd work eight hours, I'd come home, I would like make food or whatever, I would go to bed, I would wake up, I would go to work, literally it was repeat. Um, sometimes I would waste time in between, sometimes I would like post things to Facebook or like scroll through Facebook, like kind of like mindlessly scrolling on social media and stuff. But yeah, for a good like four years, it was like that. I literally like it was the same day. And what really scared me is I would drive to work every day. I was so used to driving to work that one day I, dro I drove to work and I didn't remember going, like I didn't remember driving because like I was so on like autopilot mode that like I got in my car, I drove to work, I was at work and I didn't even remember driving to work. I was like, how did I get here? I was at home 20 minutes ago. How did I get here? I forgot the entire drive home. And then I was like, oh my gosh. Like that's how like it like routine I was in. That I literally did. My brain just like completely blocked out my daily commune to work. It was pretty crazy. So yeah. So I think that movie... Uh, if you guys haven't seen the movie Groundhog's Day or Palm Springs, uh, I would definitely suggest watching them. Paul I never thought of it like that. I feel like many people fall into the mindset that only a special type of person does those things. Respectfully seeing someone 
relatable like you do it makes me makes it more real it's amazing to see the fruits of your labor despite starting relatively simple yeah ex exactly bulky if i can do it anybody can i really truly believe that because i'm not special I'm just a random girl from utah my parents are super poor but i don't know i realized like man like what like what you said basically bulky was like you just start you just have to start there was i'm reading i was reading this book called how to stop worrying and how to start living in this book the guy says um for people with major anxiety one thing he would recommend is he would tell people to live in day tight compartments so he would say like you you live in only today you close the door for tomorrow, you close the door from yesterday, and you only live today. And then he's like, you have to think of it as like, the the you yesterday is dead, the you tomorrow doesn't exist. You only exist today. And if you can like even find, squeeze in even like an hour to do something that you've always wanted to do, eventually, not now, but eventually, maybe in 94 days, if you just live in today, eventually in 94 days, the you will wake up in the morning and you might have that thing you've always wanted. You might have the... the abs you've always wanted. You might have the... I don't know. The car you've always wanted. The... happiness you've always wanted. I learned that too, like, because I feel like I had a really low self-esteem for a really long time and I didn't really understand what self-love was. And now I think I... I think now I... I think of it a little differently. I think self-love is, is like, I have to like kind of just take care of myself today because I want myself to be in the best condition. I want my area and my room and my space to be in the best condition so that the me tomorrow that wakes up out of bed is motivated to be the best selves they can be. If I clean my, if I do the dishes at nighttime and all the dishes in the kitchen's clean, I'm super motivated to cook like a really healthy breakfast. If I don't do that though, I will just eat cereal and feel horrible the whole day. So it's kind of like, I try to like, I try to like make the me that wakes up tomorrow have like the best day that they can have. If that makes any sense. Like working on a car project like one hour a day and later see the whole complete yeah see the whole thing completed without really remembering anything sort of like that so if you think get this that's actually that's pretty good though yeah kind of like that so you would remember it because you don't forget like you don't forget the things that your yesterday did even though the yet the the you yesterday is dead like that you doesn't exist anymore they went to sleep and they're gone you woke up a new person today this morning but you still remember it, right? So if you even take like a little, just one hour of your day today to work on the car project you have, then yeah, maybe in like, maybe in like 30 days, you will have a complete finished project. And all it took is one hour out of your day every day, if that makes sense. So you don't forget the process. You still remember it. You remember working on it yesterday and then you'll remember like, oh, let's work on it for an hour today. And then hopefully every day when you wake up, you keep that motivation to work on it every for at least only one hour. I would even make it lower. Sometimes I like to make my goals for the day to just do it for 30 minutes. Like for me, uh, for streaming, I always, and cause sometimes I don't want to stream. Like I'm not motivated or I just feel crappy or something like that. And then I have to like fight myself. Like I have to force myself to stream and what i have to tell myself is like just 30 minutes just stream for 30 minutes if i stream for 30 minutes then i can turn it off just 30 minutes but usually what ends up happening is once i turn on the stream and then i start and then i talk with you guys then it, the stream usually goes on for like four hours because i'm like really enjoying conversations and then i actually forget like how much i enjoy it but i have to like in order to get myself to start i have to make it either as easy as possible or make the goal failing, actually. If the goal is to fail, then you always win, if that makes sense. I don't know how to... Let me find a good way to explain this. If your goal is to work on your car, but not get anything done, just work on it, then 
then um if you work on your car for an hour a day even though like you're just working on it for one hour but you don't have like a specific goal so your goal so you wouldn't make your goal to like work on your car for one hour and like change the alternator you would make your goal like i'm just gonna work on the car for one hour or 30 minutes i'm gonna tinker with it that's it then usually if you do that if once you start once you get yourself to that point where you can where you start you actually start then once you actually start you might work on your car for five hours and then change out the alternator and then that might have been your like long-term goal to finish in like five months from now <laughs> i feel like it's very easy to be in love with the idea of yourself doing something or being something taking the first step is a major achievement in and of itself being able to start is all the major strength you definitely have that strength i think i learned because i think i think it's like a it's like a muscle i think it's like a muscle and you have to exercise it kind of like any other muscle so i think because i've done it so much i'm maybe i'm a little bit better at it but i'm not sure because there are some times where i like i'm like i need to stream today but maybe i just feel crappy or like I don't like the way my makeup looks that day or the way my hair looks that day and then I'm like, I'm not gonna stream. So I'm not- I don't always do it. I do fall into being lazy sometimes. And oh my gosh, I let my room get messy. My room got super messy. My kitchen was like a little unorganized. I- and then like yesterday when I didn't stream, I completely organized my kitchen, I organized my room, I organized my shower. I just went through the whole house and was like, I like was banned from playing Satisfactory and was like, okay, I need to fix my life now. <laughs> it's been- I played too much Satisfactory and now it's a mess. And then what sucks is it's like a perpetual like loop, right? Because when I play Satisfactory, and I don't clean, when I wake up the next day and my house is a mess, I feel so overwhelmed. I don't want to clean. I just want to run away from the situation. So then I just play more satisfactory and make the house more messy. And it's like, ah, it just goes into spiraling out of control. I think I have figured out what... So like, okay, this is what I would do. So whenever I have an extremely productive day, I re I like reverse engineer it and figure out why I did that. And I've done that so many times now that I think I know exactly what I need to do in order to be productive for the day. For example, if I like, if I go to the gym in the morning, I'm way more likely, because if I go to the gym first thing in the morning, I don't like to go to the gym first thing in the morning, but if I force myself to go to the gym first thing in the morning, I think just going to the gym, like, has like a snowball effect where I start, like I feel motivated to do everything I need to get done. If I do that, then then I will like, so basically it's like a, if I do this, then I'll do that. If I do that, then I'll do this. So I like tracked myself, like I tracked my autopilot mode and figured out like the best route I need to do, the best route I need to take in order to make myself do what I want myself to do, if that makes sense. And the biggest thing is like, I tried to not to use any um, willpower, except for at nighttime. At nighttime before bed, I like, I use all of my willpower. I clean the whole kitchen, I organize it, I start the dishwasher, I like, get everything in the kitchen pretty, I clean like, I clean up and I use all my willpower at night, and then I'm exhausted, and then I sleep like a rock. I sleep like a baby, because I used up all my willpower at nighttime, and then I'm so drained, and then I just fall asleep. And then I wake up the next morning like, Yay, I cleaned! You know what? I'm so used to like my routine of cleaning, that sometimes when I wake up in the morning, and I don't clean, I like almost get mad at myself. Cause I'll wake up in the morning, I'll be like, Wait, I didn't do the dishes last night? What the heck is wrong with me? What the heck was wrong with yesterday, Zatara? What is she doing? That's why I'm like, I try to like force myself at nighttime before bed to do everything I put off during the day. And then I get it all done and then go to sleep. I actually did the dishes like after I ate breakfast. So it's like tonight I just have to start the dishwasher. So it's going to be really easy. Honestly, if I did that every day, that's actually really smart. But no, that's too easy. I can't live life on too easy mode. <laughs>
I just, I'm living life over here like Dark Souls. Yeah, when when it comes to procrastination for me, I don't know. I think it, I think it's really hard to figure out what makes you do what you want to do, because it's like, because it's so dumb, right? Like it's your brain and your body, and you're like, I need to do this. So why can't I just do this? I remember watching a YouTube video saying that every time you like learn something new, it's actually like it registers your in your brain the same as like physical pain. And so when you're learning something new or doing like homework, your brain is actually registering it as like physical pain. And then that's why we like procrastinate is because we're like, we're avoiding this pain. And it's like, if you, I guess the only thing I can think to do is like, just, yeah, you just have to be like, tell yourself that it sucks. It's like ripping off a band-aid, right? Like when you rip off a band-aid, you're like, it's gonna hurt, but you just gotta do it. I think it's similar. You gotta be like, okay, homework's gonna suck. But it'll only suck for five minutes. Or at least you could be like, I'll do it for five minutes. And then maybe that'll get you started enough to where you finish it. I don't know. Stuff like that's so hard to figure out. I'm still trying to figure that aspect of things out in my life. 